I'm Rachel Morley and this is my home studio in Leicestershire and I'm a felt maker. I have a fine art degree but in the last 15 years I've been making things in felt from sheep's wool. Um, I use the wet felting method and I use um, a variety of British breed sheep's wool rather like this. This is a, a sample of Swaledale wool from the Swaledale sheep from Yorkshire. So it's been cleaned and carded, ready for felting. It's not straight from the animal's back. So basically I start with the raw material like this and I use the wet felting method which involves warm soapy water and friction. And the friction I apply using a bamboo blind. So the method is warm soapy water, layer um, rows of fibres. So you pull out some fibre like that and lay them on top of each other around a resist. In the case of making a bowl like this one, you would lay up the fibres around a plastic resist and build up the layers, wetting it down with warm soapy water in between layers. And eventually when you finish the number of layers you want, you roll it up inside a bamboo blind and the warmth of the water and the soap and the friction cause the fibres to cling on to each other and they start to shrink and form a fabric very quickly and it's like magic it, it's amazing once you've started you just want to keep making things so that's the basics of wet felting and over the years I've developed a range of products using sheep's wool and I've made a quantity of bowls like this one. This is um, one of my sketch bowls and I've added a sketched circle on the surface um, which gives it its name. So that's a sketch bowl. But I make all, also make other bowls and this one would explain my inspiration. I make uh, pebble bowls because I'm very lucky enough to holiday in Scotland along the coast there and I can't resist beach pebbles, they mesmerise me and I always pick one or two up and hence the pebble bowl. So I have a, a load of pebbles in my studio here that I've picked up and I love the ones with lines going through them. So I've tried to um, echo that effect in a felt bowl and I've felted the yarn, some woollen yarns in to get that effect. So that's um, one of my pebble bowls uh, and this this year I've been making a new shape of bowl and I've named it a British breed bowl because I'm trying to use more British breeds in my work and this one is a pale grey breed of Shetland and it really felts beautifully it's very fine it's lovely lovely wool that and in the same range as the white faced woodland now this is one of our rarest breeds and uh, I, s I have managed to source this fibre direct from a farm in Yorkshire where they're trying to save the breed from going extinct. Um, so that's really exciting to be able to buy the fibre from the farm and support them in my work. Uh, and it felt beautifully as well, it's a lovely white, creamy white fibre. and then. Uh, one of my other favourites is uh, the Herdwick. So this one's a nice grey, deep grey and it's a textured um, fibre. And the Herdwick is found mainly in the Lake District. So it's a very hardy breed because of where it lives. Uh, and it's just a lovely fibre to work with as well. And you can see why I'm fascinated. Look at the different shades there of a natural product. Uh, a sustainable natural product that wool is and with everything I make I add a branded button just to finish finish them off and it has my website on there so those are my British breed bowls um, and in the same range of these tiny ones tiny British breed bowls uh, using as many different British breeds I can find so they vary there's several in cream and white and it goes through all the 
shades of pale grey right through to charcoal grey and almost black. So they look great together in a group um, and they're, they're a nice thing to give as a gift. So those are lovely and uh, a lot of my other work is quite sculptural. A bowl is sculptural but the, this is my doorstop which uh, I love making and I added a tail to my doorstop so you can move it around easily. Um, this is made from another British breed, Blue Faced Leicester, and it's so nice to pelt with. It's very beautiful and fine, and it felts just really well, and it combines well with dyed merino, which is what these stripes bands are made from. And I also add wool yarns to give that line and the patterning. So merino wool isn't British, but it's it dyes beautifully and it comes in lots of different colours and I, it just adds a splash of colour to my work which is um, using the natural wool colour. So the, the doorstop here has a big beach pebble in the bottom to give it some weight and stability and it's all hand stitched, uh, stuffed with sheep's wool stuffing and then I hand stitch them and finish it with one of my buttons. Um, so these are the top end of my price range because they do take me a couple of days to make but I love making them and uh, yeah they have bags of character don't they <laughs> so that's the doorstop and leading on from that are my cubby holes and uh, it's the same came from the doorstop shape but it's smaller and I've left an opening so you can hide things inside and I've added a, an integrated felt loop um, so you can hang it up somewhere handy and again I've used dyed merino for the bands and assorted dyed and natural yarns for the patterning um, so those take a few hours to make not as long as the doorstop but uh, those are lovely to make too and uh, so that's the cubby hole I do make a cubby bowl but I don't have an example here but I can show you my website at the end, the link to my website, so you can see them. And then this leads on to something I really love making. Uh, this is my pebble pod and I made this to store my own pebbles in. Uh, so it's again it's come from the doorstop cubby hole shape. Um, so designed to sit on a surface and I added a tail for character and it has wool yarns felted in to give it some patterning and echoing pebbles again. So they always come with one pebble inside to start your collection and you just keep stacking them inside. They look really lovely uh, and I enjoy making those, my pebble pod. And I do those in different sizes. So there's the pebble pod. So that's just a little look at the collection of things I make. There are other things uh, on my website, um, so my website is rachelmorley.com. So have a look, I hope you like what you see, and thank you very much for dropping by in my studio today. Thank you, bye then.